Musa Salu Barmu, the head of Niger's armed forces, unveiled plans for a new joint security force following a meeting with the junta leaders of Mali and Burkina Faso. The announcement, made during a televised statement, highlighted the urgency to address security challenges in the region. Barmu emphasized the need for swift action, but did not provide specific details regarding the size or scope of the force. He expressed confidence in the collaborative efforts of the three countries, aiming to establish conditions for shared security. The decision to create the joint force comes amidst a decade-long struggle against Islamist groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State, whose activities have fueled violence in the area. The situation has been compounded by political instability, marked by a series of coups in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger between 2020 and 2023. The formation of the joint force reflects a collective response to the escalating security threats in the region, signaling a commitment to bolster cooperation and coordination among the affected nations. Three months after the military coup, Niger faced multiple crises, reflecting the broader instability gripping the central Sahel region. Conflict fatalities in the central Sahel surged by 38% in 2023 compared to the previous year, as reported by the U.S.-based crisis monitoring group ACLT. Shocking accounts revealed that more than 8,000 people lost their lives in Burkina Faso alone. The situation took a grim turn when approximately 170 individuals were executed in a single day during attacks on three villages in northern Burkina Faso. These brutal incidents underscored the relentless violence and insecurity plaguing the region, as communities grappled with escalating conflict and bloodshed. The deteriorating security situation highlighted the urgent need for concerted efforts to address the root causes of instability and violence, as well as to restore peace and stability in the central Sahel. Criticism of France's mission in the Sahel, particularly from voices in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, points to the failure to quell the Islamist insurgency while simultaneously eroding the affected country's sovereignty. The French military intervention, though initially seen as a means to combat extremist groups like Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State in the region, has faced mounting skepticism regarding its efficacy. Babakar Ndiaye, a senior fellow at the Timbuktu Institute in Senegal, underscored the sentiment, suggesting that France has forfeited its diplomatic and military standing in the Sahel. He emphasized the inadequacy of a purely militaristic approach in tackling the insurgency, contending that the complexities of the situation necessitate more nuanced strategies. Ende's remarks highlight a broader consensus among observers that military force alone cannot address the underlying ideological and socio-economic drivers of the Sahel's Islamist insurgency. Instead, there's a growing recognition of the imperative for development initiatives and democratic reforms to foster stability in the region. The call for a shift in approach reflects the acknowledgement that combating extremism requires more than firepower. It demands investments in education, infrastructure, and governance that empower communities and address the grievances fueling radicalization. The critique of France's strategy in the Sahel serves as a stark reminder of the limitations of military solutions and the pressing need for holistic, sustainable interventions to confront the root causes of instability in the region. The decision to form a joint force is the latest sign of closer alignment among the three neighbors, who all severed military ties with longtime partners, including France, to form the alliance of Sahel states in September. Burkina Faso and Niger withdraw from G5 Sahel anti-jihadist force. Niger suspends cooperation with international francophone body. Politically and economically, the three countries have decided to leave ICAWAS after it imposed sanctions on all of their leaders for destabilizing democratically elected governments. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe and see you in the next one.